it's ironic that the initial intent for the GTO judge was it for it to be an Econo box, a muscle car that was going to, well, put Mopar in its place with its Roadrunner. Rubber floor mats, no options, a base package, one color, one stripe package, and it was going to be cheaper than a standard GTO. Well, as they progressed with the whole theme, it ended up being more money than the GTO. It was a $330 option, plus you could add any GTO option that you wanted. By 1970, the Ram Air 4 Judge was the ultimate in performance. Overall, for a three-year period, the judges dominated the Pontiac scene. It's arguably the best-looking Pontiac ever built out there. It's always kind of cool when you can drive a car that's worth this sort of money, and it drives like a regular car, as it should. I mean, it's got a turbo 400 training, nice tough training. It's got a 390 posi in this thing. Kind of a steep gear for a convertible, but it, then again, you know, you've got the, the Ram Air 4 motor in front of it, kind of makes sense. As far as suspension goes, it's got the heavy duty suspension, nice run and driving car. I mean, drives down the road, nice and solid, turns well. Brakes, it's got power disc brakes, power steering. You know, it's a muscle car that you could actually use every day. It doesn't have, you know, anything really radical or hard, hard to drive. It's not like an R model Shelby. Now, the big difference comes down to the motor. And the big difference there is, the, well, the entire motor, but we start with the block. The block was actually, the casting number, the last digit was hot wiped off. They stamped the five in front of, or after it. Then they got steel crank and rods, 10 and a half to one compression. The heads, they're totally unique. Ram Air 4 heads are different than anything else out there. They've got the round port exhaust ports. They've got different exhaust manifolds. They've got a unique aluminum intake just to this motor. And then it's got a rotter jet on top. Nice performance package. Apparently 370 horsepower. Well, a Ram Air 3 is 366. I'll tell you this much, there's more than a four horsepower spread. To build up one of these motors isn't cheap either. The parts are super rare. You're probably gonna spend 15 to 20 grand to build a complete Ram Air 4 motor today. Not an easy swap. This car is definitely all about motor. Check out this. They built 18 of these cars in 1970. They built five in 69, they built 17 in 71. Well, if you compare that to a Mopar where they built 18 70 Hemi convertibles at 2.1 million, this car looks cheap at 500,000. It looks cheap at a million dollars. Now compare it to the Chevy, the ZL1. They built 69 of those cars. The last one sold for over a million dollars as well. This car looks cheap again. It's a convertible and it's about four times as rare as the ZL1. You look at an R model Shelby, probably the top dog as far as values go in Fordland. Last R model, they sold for a million dollars. They built 36 of those cars. So when you start looking at numbers and comparing the values of the ultra exotic muscle cars already, this car is a bargain right now and it's poised to go up. So what's the value of this car at the end of the day? Somewhere between a half million and a million dollars. This car also is the only black one ever built.